Good afternoon, everybody. So obviously the day that I film this is not going to be the day you see it. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead. This is me procrastinating. Um, I really have a cupboard or a few that I need to clean out here. I have been working and getting some of it done and I'll post a video of that. But I also wanted you to see my garden. So this is my parsley. And it was totally, well, underneath especially, coming up yellow all the time. And I kept cutting it back. I kept kind of doing all the things. I had an organic fertilizer that I was putting on it over and over. And it just kept coming up yellow. And the same with my kale. My kale was all yellow. It was just totally yellow. And so I don't know... Um, if I've mentioned this before, but I do have a worm bin and I, the sun's bright out here. Um, I do have this worm bin and honestly, the compost that they create is amazing. And it's just all from scraps that normally would go in the garbage. And so I took a bunch of it. I thought, what the heck? I don't have anything to lose. And I threw it on and now everything is green again. I am so excited about that. Like it just is healthy. <clears throat> it's, oh, it's dark. It's holding moisture better. My sage is doing better. I've got like new growth on here. I was cutting everything back thinking, I, you know, I needed to keep pruning it, blah, blah, blah. So I just put it on everything and everything is coming up great except my cilantro. My cilantro is a mess. Now I have cut it back and I'm probably, actually I'm just going to pick this off. I cut it way back and I see there's like other stuff growing in here. Like I don't know how that happens when I am, anyway that may be hopeless but whatever. This seems to be a little healthier than it was. Um, I have to see, <coughs> excuse me, this is time but I do have lots of other thyme. This is the lemon thyme. This is the only plant of this that I have. Um, this is my mandevilla, which has bloomed every other year except this year, but I did cut it back quite a bit because it was just crazy. Sorry, stepping down, and that's always a hard thing for me right now. Um, there were like vines everywhere, so I cut it back, and I don't know if that's what happened to it. The leaves look healthy, so I'm just going to leave it. It'll come back in for the winter. These are my chives. Again, I put, uh, these are fairly, actually, I need to probably pick these off. I don't know. You know, I don't know what to do with these things, because... I do, like I have had so many bees coming because of flowers on my plants. This is a huge citronella plant that was actually gifted to me. Kathy, thank you so much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it over the winter. I don't know, especially cause we're moving. I don't know if I can move this whole plant or if I should just start a new one. This is my hibiscus who it actually just flowered um and now is you know hopefully going to create more flowers i don't know how much time we have left there are some buds though so maybe may get some more flowers out of these they were pretty but they sure don't last long but the thing I'm most happy about is my basil. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much basil. I know it may not look great right now, but I've harvested so much basil off this plant and that one, which that's my resurrection plant. That's the one that I thought was dead and gone and it just sprung back to life. I have oregano here. But again, since I've put this worm compost on it, it Everything is just flourishing. I wish I'd done it earlier. Plant that Glenn got me for, I think it was Mother's Day. Like, I've never kept a plant alive this long. What else have we got here? These are those, I keep wanting to call them calendia. No, nasturtium. 
And the reason I grew these is because apparently the seed pods, when they die, you can actually pickle. And they're called poor man's caper. So I'm going to do that. This is the Thai basil. It has, you know, come and gone. So this is one of the things I planted in, in the, um, all the, the tiered planter thing. And then I moved it into a pot and it did much better after I moved it into a pot. It's had lots of flowers on it. It seems to really attract pollinators. Um, I have been cutting the flowers off because I want more leaves, but I may just leave it now because the flowers are so pretty. And apparently you can use the flowers also in your food. My rosemary that I have had for a few years now, I winter them in the house. I love rosemary. It's quickly become one of my favorite herbs. I use it in my some of my sourdough breads. That, I have somebody that buys bread from me and they actually, oops, sorry, it's uneven ground here. Um, they love it in the sourdough bread. This is my purple basil. It doesn't look as purple now, but I just harvested a bunch off it as well. Um, it's doing well. I've again, like I can't tell you, I've made pesto so many times. I make a pesto mayo. It turned out really good. This is another one of those nasturtiums. So I'm kind of hoping to get more pods from them, but we'll see. It's getting late. Uh, this is more oregano. And this is mint that my daughter sent me. I've been using, well, I haven't used any yet. I've been drying some because I love mint tea. It's one of my favorite herbal teas. And this is our bean patch, which we ended up planting like really late in the season. Had some from it the other night for supper. We had beans. Oh yeah, I see more over there. I can't really zoom in on this. But anyway, there are more beans, which green beans are my favorite in the summer. So yeah, like I am enjoying these fresh herbs so much and I can't wait until next year when I can have an actual garden bed full of these things. Um, this, I mean, if I had known we were going to be here this long, I would have planted tomatoes. I would have planted so many more things, peppers. Uh, tomatoes, peppers, probably would have tried cucumbers, green beans always. Tomatoes and green beans are my favorite fresh produce in the summer because, I don't know, for one, the tomatoes just don't taste the same when you buy them in the store over the winter. And then uh, the green beans, like they're so expensive. And I really love green beans. They're they're my favorite side dish in the summer, other than asparagus. So that's another thing I'm looking forward to growing. I'm going to try and raise this up a bit. It's not warm out today, but it's definitely sunny. So I guess that means we're into fall. <sighs> I, I am so not ready for winter. I don't really want winter. And now I'm thinking of moving up north. That makes no sense. But whatever. So anyway, I guess I better get back inside and start cleaning. I have some uh, microgreen trays I need to put away in the cupboard. I need to put them in is a mess and it's a corner cupboard and those corner cupboards, mine just have shelves. So everything's so hard to reach. It just seems that everything I want is in the back of the cupboard probably because they're not always things that I use all the time but now because I want to put these trays away I got to clean out the cupboard but I will show you what I've done already I've been busy this week um what have I done today so far I have well <laughs> you always come across messes you hadn't anticipated and the fruit flies are horrendous right now and so I kind of went investigating. I mean, they're not really a surprise this time of year because, you know, you have things around and this is the season and blah, blah, blah.
But then I have this wire basket on the counter, which I'll show you in a minute. And in that I put, I have two. I have one that has most of the spices that I use fairly regularly and I want them easily accessible. The other one holds like our fresh fruit and red onions and yeah, probably those are, and tomatoes. Um, and the fruit flies were everywhere. So anyway, I thought, okay, I'm, I don't know why I, anyway, I don't know how I get into these things, but I moved the basket <clears throat> and oh my gosh, I moved the basket and I realized that there was probably a, an eighth of a piece of a tomato that had been on the bottom of the basket and everything else put on top of it. And it had leak juice and it was such a mess. And so I had to clean all that up because no wonder I had fruit flies. They were just, it was like fruit fly heaven there for them. So I cleaned that all up. I used chemicals, which I typically don't use, but I thought, man, this, for one, I'm trying to use up stuff I'm not taking with me and chemical cleaners are one of those things, but it was a mess. It was a total mess. So I got that cleaned up. So that involved not only wiping the counter underneath because then there was, there had been red onions in the bag, in the metal bin as well. So the, the skins got stuck to the counter. The, the metal basket was a mess. Like I had to wash it. There was just such a big mess. And you know how one job leads to another? <laughs> yeah, so... Actually, I had a nap this morning, though. I was awake at 5 and then had a coffee. I think I had a tea. <laughs> Actually, I think I fell asleep after Glenn brought me my tea before he went to work. And I woke up, and it was still warm enough I could drink it. But So I had that, and then finally, I guess it was around noon, I came downstairs. And, yeah, I haven't stopped since. So now I have to put these microgreen trays away and the cupboard I want to put them in it's way at the back and I need to organize and I've already done a few and I'll show you what those are but it just goes around and around and around but it's progress I think yeah it's progress I have to keep telling myself it's progress I also made a fruit fly trap in a bowl with water technically apple cider vinegar but actually what I used was some of the kombucha I have brewed that has now turned to vinegar so I did water that kombucha because they're all over my kombucha thing they can't get in don't worry um, I have a cloth over it but they swarm that cloth and Dawn dish soap and I put a, I pulled out a banana peel that someone had put in the compost bucket and I put that in the bowl and I put plastic over it. And that plastic stuff is like frustrating to no end. The only thing it sticks to is itself. And even that wasn't great today. So I had to put the plastic over it, try and pull it tight, poke holes in the bowl and we'll see how that works. I don't know if I'm actually trapping these fruit flies or if I am feeding them. But anyway, I, this is the season. It's painful. I hate bugs in my house. I don't care. They can live freely out here. I don't care. But in my house, that's a whole different story. Anyway, I can't procrastinate any longer. I really have to go do those cupboards and I'm going to take you in with me. And I'm sorry I filmed this the wrong uh, angle. It should have been sideways like this. <laughs> and I will try fingers out of the road, Connie. Oh yeah. And angle the camera. Um, so I will try and do the rest of it in this format, but let's go. Time to clean. Okay. So this is what I did yesterday. 
So this is a corner cupboard that again has no Lazy Susan, so it's just shelves. And the problem with these is that everything you want is always in the back, but I've rearranged it. I cleaned it all. I have a lot of empty space still, but theoretically everything that I actually use is within reach. And then I did the cupboard next to it, which is under the sink and has all the cleaning stuff and the compost bucket. Um, so I think I've got that. I've got a lot of stuff in bins because then it's easier to pull out the bin. Um, there's a few different bins. Can't really see them all. Um, all my Norwex stuff, which I actually love, and I threw out most of the chemical sort of cleaner types. These ones that are at the front are chemical types that I'm not bringing with me, but I am going to try and use them up cleaning before we go. Uh, so let me see. This cupboard. Oh my gosh. So this cupboard has like coffee, tea. This is a Tulsi tea that I, you know, these are herbal teas. They're dried peppers. There are bags for the herbal teas to use them in your cup. And at the very back, there, that is a zucchini spiralizer that I use mostly this time of year. The tea bags, like just, I don't know, just, this is my sugar substitute, some wrap that we use occasionally, the um like cutters for homemade pasta and then this is some of my stoneware that was in the it was up here near the back i use these a lot these rock crock pans the stoneware smaller pans go in the air fryer but the rock crock runs can go in the on the barbecue and i use them a lot for nachos and pizza yeah, Glenn put that cutting board in there. That's not where that goes. So these are my drawers. I'll show you those. And honestly, this drawers, if you're going to build a kitchen from scratch, drawers are an amazing thing. This one is for pots and pans. I got rid of a lot of the ones. Oh, shoot. The ones that we don't use all the time, I got rid of them. And then the bottom one, I put all my baking pans. So my lasagna pan, my cookie sheets, racks, and actual pans that I use on the stove. So this is the one I need to clean out today. And I have not got that far yet, and I may not get there today. Um. So it just has all the random things like kind of coconut oil, the nuts and seeds that I use a lot of for pestos, for my nut butters. I've hidden tortillas in there. Don't tell anybody because if I leave them out, they get eaten. Uh, bread baking supplies. This is my pasta pot. I think there's maybe flour in there. And, you know, just, I don't know, Glenn shoves things in here too, so whole wheat flour, rice flour, my Bragg's coconut aminos, which if again, if I leave out, somebody uses. There's just a lot of stuff in here that I'm probably going to take, but a lot of this stuff I can pack right now because I don't think I'll use uh, before we move. So that's my nest job. And then I think I'm almost done my kitchen because a lot of stuff, let me show you. This is another unit of drawers, which, so this has my dish cloths, dish towels. This is just one of the many junk drawers that I have, but I did organize it, so I'm not too worried about it. There probably will be stuff that will go out of that. 
and then below oh my goodness so these are containers and fun just shoves stuff in here and doesn't oh it drives me crazy anyway these are colanders these are glass containers here there's some uh plastic like soup containers but these are my favorite containers these are mostly what i'm taking with me um there's this size and there is this size and i will link them on amazon below these are kind of like a sour cream container what i love about these is for one they all fit together for two it doesn't matter what size you get the lids are all the same so these fit both every size that i could get the lids are the same that is huge underneath i have another drawer this is recipes i will not get rid of that um, more containers and just you know some a lot of this stuff is gonna go these are also where i keep my water bottles my yetis all those kind of things okay so i have officially finished all the uh lower cupboards now i've done a couple of the top ones too but they're not ready yet to show so it's been a busy week and today it's friday and i'm really late posting this but i'm going to show you what i've done i know it doesn't look great but this is another corner cupboard and to be honest i find them really hard because everything you're just trying to keep the things you access the most at the front so this is like coconut oil there's rice flour in the bottom thing in the basket behind that is all my different flowers like there's almond flour coconut flour kind of all my baking stuff for breads uh there's this i don't know if you can see it so i have uh i bought a bunch of those squeeze bottles the really cheap ones i use them for sauces that is um beeswax and shea butter that i use for different things i make a hand cream i actually started making them when we had to start using all this hand sanitizer all the time which actually i can't use because it blisters my hands but everybody was complaining at work of dry hands so i made a bunch of round they harden and they just you rub the kind of a, it looks like a puck rub it in your hands and it helps protect there's coconut oil shea butter and beeswax in it this is our pasta pot. There's not room for it in the drawer that the pots and pans are in. This is some baking stuff. Like those are dates, just different things that I add. This is rice cakes mostly. I hid a bag of Tostitos in here because if I leave them out, someone's going to eat them. This is oats. And these are different flours here as well. Uh, kind of baking goods. Like so there's um, steel cut oats. There's brown sugar in that basket. There's other flowers behind there, in there, which is what started this whole cupboard. I had to put my microgreen trays away. That's them there in some tin uh, cake pans, aluminum foil. We use those in the smoker to smoke flour. And then there's some brags that I've also hidden because somebody will use it. Rice flour that I make in my blender to coat my bread. And down there is a bunch of nuts and seeds. I use those for I use those for my super seed nut butter. So there's like almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, peanuts. I throw all kinds of stuff in there. So that's all in one area. So when I go to make that, I can pull that out and it's all there for me. It's in a bucket. It all comes out at once and I can throw stuff in. <clears throat> so anyway that's how far i've got so far i am making progress i look like heck 
I don't know how these people on movies and TV shows do it. You know, they wake up in the morning, their makeup's done, every hair is in place. I'm a wreck. But I'm making progress. So, whatever. Um, nothing from, like, I haven't heard that there's any offers in on the other house yet. So, I'm so thankful. And uh, really, so far relieved. I have somebody coming to look at the house next week just pray. I really want to sell this and get this show on the road. I mean, obviously I have hesitations and there's a lot of mixed feelings, but in the end of the day, I don't have a lot of options here. We can't be here and there at the same time. And I know this is the next right step for us. So yes, I have lots to do still. I will keep you posted. You'll see more videos as I try and get organized and get things together the renovations are supposed to be done this weekend so then I have a couple other rooms that then I'm able to uh, move furniture clean it needs to be cleaned so bad I don't know if you guys have had renovations before but it's brutal it's brutal trying to keep it even halfway clean it's almost impossible so I've been like a horse chomping at the bit at the starting gate waiting to race and <laughs> to be honest I mean I wish I had that energy but it's just I've I've felt held back because there's so much that needed to be done and yet I really couldn't do it and wanted to do it and yet I don't really feel like I have the energy to do it but I know my kids are going to help me here and there so it's not all on me. I need to remember that. And Glenn's been amazing. I mean, he's been driving me crazy, though. Oh, my God. If we make it through this, it'll be a wonder. We will deserve whatever years we have left in peace. <laughs> he just, yeah, anyway, asked me so many questions. So many that I've already answered. Or it's hard, again, because he's the one that gets rid of stuff with no problem. I'm the one that tries to hang on. To everything and so you know he's asking me well do we keep this or whatever I'm like no we keep it and he just shakes his head it's like why Connie you know which is a valid question but anyway it does cause some tension so anyway I'm going outside it was a really cold this morning I thought it was gonna be a cold day and now it turned out really warm and I'm done for the day. I have supper cooking. That's going to be my last um, feat for the day. But in the meantime, I'm taking my glass of wine and I'm going out on the deck and I'm going to enjoy whatever we have left of decent weather. So have a good day. Have a good weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Be safe. Be careful on the roads. Whatever you're doing, just take that extra bit of caution. Um, but anyway, have a great weekend. I can't believe it's Labor Day weekend already. I won't even go to how much that depresses me, but you just got to stay focused.